behind me there is a large pile of wood that we just finished unloading. You know, it's amazing how heavy that wood can be. Anyways, welcome to the pergola project. Me and my stepdad Ed are building a pergola for our backyard. The past few weeks he's been digging holes and putting in the mounts and everything. I didn't realize how fun it could be or how I could help until today when I helped him unload the wood. And yeah, we're starting the pergola project. We've got a big pile of concrete and Ed's working on moving a pipe that was coming up where the pergola is going to be. So what happened here was, is this pipe, which is the plumbing something another, was coming out right there where the board was going to come out. So Ed just extended it and brought it up. Time to start cutting some two befores. So Ed had to, to dig this block out that was in that hole right there because when you run this board along, it was off level just a little bit. So we had to take it out and go a little bit deeper with it. All right, so what we're doing is we're having to dig out some of these little posts that were put in because some of them are going to be off level since we didn't have the boards before or technically Ed didn't have the boards before I didn't help dig these but we're going to have to redo a lot of them Ed is grabbing all these long pieces that need to be cut into 16 foot, measuring them and cutting them. Not all of them are going to be 16 though, like this one right here that Ed's working on is going to be 14. So what he's doing is that piece is going to go behind that piece since the brackets on the little stands are 4 inches apart, so these 2 by 6s are both going to stabilize it. is now squaring the beams off to make sure they're, well, square. I honestly don't really know how he's doing this, so I'm just going to watch. So I'm going to explain the boxing the way Ed just explained it to me. So a box has four corners, right? So if you measure from right here to right over there, and it measures 205 inches, but you measure from right over there where he is to right over there, and it's 200 inches, that's a problem. So how do you make that one longer and that one shorter? Well, you just slide some of the bricks one way or the other. Now he has it 203 inches by 203 inches, which is square. Oh, so come here. Perfect. 
This is square. So now what's happening is Ed's going out and marking all these spots for these things, which is the joist, and those are the middle beams, and these are just the holders for them. Joist hangers. What we've been doing is we've been taking nails and these bracket things and nailing them onto these pieces of wood. And it's going to use these as brackets all along here. And all the little brackets that we made yesterday are on the back of this board. And he nailed the main beams together so that they are square and all good to go. I didn't get to help with that, I was working on school. Ed is just right now double checking that everything is square because if the base right here is off, it's going to multiply as you build up in it. And by the top of the pergola, it's going to be really off. This beam is screwed in. Ed has this one, so he's adjusting that beam to make sure it's square. This beam is all nailed in. Onto that one. This is how I'm productive while Ed measures things. in half of the mounts and now we get joist to play hangers. with joist hangers and now we get to play with power tools. Alright, so I cut all of these on the saw over there, and all 22 of these, I think, Ed went through and nailed them in, but I cut them all and put them in place, and then Ed nailed them in, and also started working on the foundation for the pergola. Right, so concrete has been poured. These are going to be the base for the pergola. There's three of them, and now you got to put the beams for the jousts. Well, that's a wrap on this episode of Project Pergola. We have a frame for the deck. I think this is going to be a four-part series. This is the first episode you just watched. In the next episode, we're going to be putting the decking on. So make sure to come back for that. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that youtube -y stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.